perseverance, perseverance, no matter how long it takes and um, just doing something hard and just keep going and kind of goes into resilience. Um, how many times you get knocked down, you just spring back up like a dandelion. You're no matter how many times you get mowed down, you're going to spring right back up. The Podcast Empire, podcast mastery for women in business. Welcome to another unstoppable episode of the Podcast Empire. Today we have an unstoppable guest joining us, an author who has unlocked the secrets to leaving an incredible legacy through overcoming adversity. Her remarkable insights and experiences have touched the lives of countless individuals, inspiring them to rise above challenges and make their mark on the world. So get ready to embark on a transformative journey as we delve into the wisdom and resilience of our unstoppable guest. Now, Ruth Messick is one of the collaborative authors inside the Unstoppable Book Series, number three, wonderfully produced by Elsa Morgan. The first two series were Amazon number one bestsellers, so it's an exciting time. So sit back relax and prepare to be inspired as we explore the power of perseverance and the legacy we can all create. So let's begin this unstoppable conversation. Welcome Ruth to the Podcast Empire. Thank you and thank you for having me. You are very welcome. We love Unstoppable Women. And we were talking pre-show, Ruth. You're going through a challenging time at the moment. And we can touch on that uh, during this episode if you wish to as well. And I know that uh, you are a businesswoman. You're an entrepreneur on fire. You're really helping women create that life freedom and options in their lives to move them forward and be the best versions of themselves, which all encompasses and aligns with the Unstoppable Book series. What inspired you to write a chapter about overcoming adversity and leaving a legacy? You know what? I always knew I was going to write a book. It was just, this is a, a step in the right direction. In high school, I would try to explain to my friends, okay, so my dad was married, da da, and da 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 da, and and they're like, this is like a soap opera. You got to write a book. And so <laughs> it was just always in my head. I need to write a book, and just um, when Elsa uh, Morgan and uh, Aggie Moy approached me, the first time I was not ready, and the second time I was ready. It's time to tell my story, and. I am just so grateful because I really enjoyed writing that chapter. It was new and exciting and scary, and I enjoyed writing. And so this is the beginning, and I'm hoping to just inspire others, hoping to uh, inspire hope. There's always hope. Absolutely. Now, your chapter title is Trapped Emotions. Do you mind if we touch on the experience and the journey that you're going through at the moment that you shared with me pre-show? Yes, right now, uh, I was diagnosed in the end of May, beginning of May, no, middle of May, with uh, AML leukemia. And so I'm fighting that now, and I do have a transplant um, scheduled for March 14th next month. And I'm so excited to get that done and get on with my life. I used to have this long, gorgeous, beautiful blonde hair. And it's grown out to curls and um, I'll have to go bald one more time. But here's the thing, because of my life and the difficulties, I'm shocked that this, it doesn't bother me. I'm I'm really surprised. I, and it made me realize how strong of a woman I am and how resilient. It was just one of those things. Um, I can't. I can't, you know, I have to go straight through it. I can't go to the left. I can't go to the right. I can't go underneath it. I have to go straight through. And so that was my mindset. And then when finally I let my hair grow, I mean, fall out naturally. And when I got to the point where I was Schmeagol on Lord of the Rings, I mean, it just, mm-hmm. <laughs> and that took, you know, a few months, my husband shaved it off and I was surprised. I was not emotional over it. And I wrecked my brains out. Why? Because this is a big deal. You know, and why am I not emotional over this? Why is it bothering me? You know what? I've been through too much in life to let hair bother me. It's hair and it's going to grow back. 
Absolutely. And it takes a lived experience to really work on that strength and that resilience and to get to a place of such personal development where we can pick our battles, right? We can know yes. what controls us and what doesn't control us anymore. Now, everyone's got a unique perspective about what unstoppable is, what it means to them from their experience and their journey. And it's unique to the individual. What does unstoppable personally mean to you? Perseverance, perseverance, no matter how long it takes and um, just doing something hard and just keep going and kind of goes into resilience. Um, how many times you get knocked down, you just spring back up like a dandelion. You're no matter how many times you get mowed down, you're going to spring right back up. And, you know, and just, oh, uh, just, you know, just being the best possible you and inspiring others and it's a great book. <laughs> it is indeed. It is indeed. I can't wait to read your chapter, Trapped Emotions. Now, a little bit of a sneak peek, if you would, Ruth, without giving away the, the whole chapter, but maybe you can give us some kind of insights some strategies, techniques that you share in your chapter about overcoming adversity and leaving a legacy, because we'll be sharing in the show notes where to grab your copy from the Unstoppable book as well. So some techniques. And yeah, my, yes, my chapter is um, Trapped Emotions. And some of the strategies uh, for overcoming adversity is, first of all, I have faith in the Lord. My mom instilled those values in me at a very young age. And, you know, having a therapist, um, after my mom passed away when I was very young, I was left uh, not being able to grieve. And so as a young adult, you know, going to therapy and allowing myself to grieve and healing. Um, so having a therapist is good. You get to know you, you know, and healing, uh, energy healing. I love energy healing. And another form of healing, energy healing is Reiki. It's a Japanese form. It's new to me. It's been around for centuries, but it's very beautiful. And then uh, nature, just walking out on the beach, out on the, the mountains and just, you know, clearing your head and grounding, they call it. And um, it just is very soothing. And then my newest find is emotion code because all that, the trauma you go through, it gets stuck. It gets stuck in your body. And what I love about this is you don't have to talk about it. And it just, you know, that it's a healing energy healing and it releases those, that cells that get stuck in your body, that trauma. And that's my new thing. I absolutely love it because I don't want to go backwards. I want to let go and go forward. So that's my love. I love, I love it so much. I want to learn how to do it. Oh, absolutely. Because everything is energy, right? We all work everything. on these frequencies. And when we tap into that and we become aligned with that, and I love how you shared with us as well, you know, getting out into nature, grounding ourselves, you know, really breathing in the air, really touching the ground bare, barefooted. It really does give us clarity and peace of mind and really does align our bodies as well. And having that unknown wisdom to be able to step into that, like you shared, to be that best version of our ourselves, which is unique and different to everybody as well. Now, you are an entrepreneur as well. You're helping countless women um, with what you do. If anyone's thinking about starting a business, would you have three tips for anybody to be able to set them up for success? I do. As a matter of fact, uh, to me, number one is work on yourself. The mindset, um, self-development, that's one of the things I love about entrepreneurship is the self-development because this is where it's going to show up in business. And um, so work on you because you're selling yourself. It's not the products. It's not the compensation plan. It's you. And second of all, um, business plan, a business plan and write out your goals um, have systems in place, have systems in place. So you're duplicatable. So the people that you're teaching has the sy systems and they're duplicatable and it goes on. And number, number three would be have a mentor. 
have a mentor that is where you want to be and um, help them, you know, have them help you. And the total cheat sheet of all this is having a coach because a coach will save you time. And um, because, you know, you're out there and you're trying to figure it out on your own and it just would save you time and a lot of heartache. Absolutely. So and I think having a coach as well, you know, they've already paved the path. Uh, so they've got the blueprint, right? So it's really aligning yourself with a coach that has done what you want to do. And I love yes. how you said have those systems, have something duplicatable and have that plan, right? Because if we fail to plan, we plan to fail. <laughs> I love how you touched on that. True Reed. story. <laughs> now, is there any <laughs> message that you want to leave the audience on today as well? Oh, gosh, let's see here. The message would be that, you know, I have been through so much and my message is there's just always hope. And I want to, them to know that, you know, so many people are walking around in pain and they don't even know it. And I would love for them to do the work, get out of that pain and just become the best version of themselves. And I really want to help women to feel beautiful for, you know, just to feel beautiful. And, you know, because, you know, the older age, you know, we kind of struggle with that a little bit. I want them to feel beautiful. And some I will be feeling beautiful for the very first time. And I want to teach women that uh, want to stay home from, you know, stay home and and raise their children, but they still need to have some money to help make the ends meet. And women that are in the you know corporate world that just can't stand it, life's too short to be somewhere you just can't stand. So find a passion, find something that you love and make a living from it. And I wanna help women that are in situations, not the best situations that they have choices and I can teach them that they have choices. Yep. Absolutely. What a powerful message. You are an entrepreneur on fire, Ruth. You are an unstoppable author. Thank you very much for joining us in this incredible episode. And we hope you found our conversation with Ruth as captivating as what I did. And if you're ready to embark on your own journey of resilience and have a lasting legacy, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast for more empowering content. And while you're at it, please leave a review for Ruth and share your biggest takeaway of Ruth's episode today. So to dive even deeper into the world of the Unstoppable Book Series, be sure to grab your very own copy and immerse yourself in the stories that will ignite your determination and push you, like Ruth said, to be the best version of yourself. The link for that is in our show notes and connect with our Unstoppable guest Ruth Messick. Her links are in the show notes and stay updated on all of her latest insights and projects. And remember, it's never too late to start creating your own unstoppable legacy. Thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you on another unstoppable episode. Thank you very much, Ruth. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. We'll see you in the pod. Bye for now. The Podcats Empire, podcast mastery for women in business.